Hello again. Whoa. Um, I just watched that, um, a video by Elle Williams, Big Girls Are Ugly As Fuck, and I also watched the response videos. Um, actually I watched, uh, Diva's video first, and then I went and watched this one. And I gotta say, I'm not surprised. Really not surprised. Um, that Mika song, I heard it maybe five months ago, and I love it, clearly. I mean, I don't want to be defined by my fat either, but if that's the way society's going to see me, and they do, no matter what, there's always going to be ignorant people out there. Always. And I'm not going to, I mean, it might get a little bit different when I have the surgery and lose weight. Um, society as a whole might see me different, but there's still going to be people who discriminate against me just because I'm me. Because I'm white or because I'm, you know, um, because I'm Canadian, because I had surgery. There's a huge, pe huge amount of people who discriminate against people because they had surgery. So, I mean, whatever. Um, I take comfort in the fact that the people that are writing those are probably like 15 to 20 guys just sitting behind their desk and they, you know, they're the kind of guys who find the girls in the candy shop video hot with their asses all hanging out and slutty dresses and whatever, you know, like that's the kind of girl they're interested in. So fine, I'm glad you don't find me attractive because I wouldn't touch you with a 10 foot pole. I happen to like men who can think and articulate and say something. Like, I mean, I find it more hurtful when somebody has a point when they're saying, like, if somebody came up to me and said, well, your family has a history of heart disease and diabetes and um, circulatory disease, you know, um, it, is it really prudent for you to be overweight? Like, wouldn't you want to try to da 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 da? If somebody was articulate and intelligent with the way they were insulting me, even if it was like a backhanded insult, yeah, that would hurt. But people saying girls are fat as fuck and fat girls are disgusting and they should all be shot and all this shit, I don't even, I don't even, I barely even acknowledge that on, like, on my level of how much that bothers me. It's, it's an annoyance more than anything. And I totally agree with Tanya and, and um, and Gabrielle, when they said, uh, you know, it's not who we are as people. Our fat doesn't define us as people. It's totally true. Um, because I'm going to be the same, I mean, I was the same person when I was 135 as I am now. I've learned a lot of lessons since then, and yeah, gaining weight has probably made me a better person for it, because I'm not, I'm not, um, superficial, and I'm not as judgmental as I probably would have been had I not gained the weight. But, it doesn't define me. And I, um, I believe that, that the man, or the boy, the guy who wrote that, Mika, his mother is very overweight, and I believe that's why he wrote the song, because he has a healthy respect for overweight women. I believe, actually, that he's gay, so it's not, it's not even a sexual thing with him. It's a respect. And I think that that's a good thing. Like, that that song has now turned into the the whole the BBW movement's theme song. And they're making it sound like, you know, really, like it's like a sexual thing, but it's not. Um, from what I've read about him and that song, it's, it's, not, it's not meant to be taken like that. And if you see the video, it's not sexual in any way. It's just him dancing around the streets of London with a huge crowd of big girls. It's, it's a really awesome video. Um, so yeah, uh, I just, I think that no matter what size you are or what nationality you are or what religion you are, you're always going to run into somebody who doesn't like you because of that. And that somebody is probably ignorant. Some unintelligent person who, for some reason, uh, has a dislike 
for you or for what they think you stand for and there's really nothing that you can do about it.